Hi there, so let's continue uh, this short introduction to Eggful. So here we're continuing from the previous video. So the previous video was stopped here, okay? So what we want to do now is to read an external file, do the same stuff and probably plot together with this, okay? So what I'm going to do is that, see that here, we're still in polar accumulation mode. If I want to read a new airfall, chance range, and all that stuff, we need to disable polar accumulation mode. So you go P A C C, disable. Okay. Now let's go back to the main menu. Enter. I press Enter. Airfall, and here I can generate a new airfall using the built-in uh, program, or I can load an airfall file. Here you have the common load and you give an airfall file. So you have to be very careful of this file. So first let me show you that you can find around now there, there is a lot of information about that those airfalls. So I think this is probably one of the most complete uh, databases for airfall. So as you go here, see that you have this database of airfall coordinates, you go here and you're going to have, so you pick one, for instance, you have the GIF there, how it looks like, and then you open here, you have the coordinates. It's very important about the coordinate format. Okay, so I will pick up a random airfall here. I will pick up this one, die 11. Okay, this is the shape. As you go here, you have the coordinates. Okay, so you can download this coordinate, but Eggfoils reads the coordinates in a very specific format, okay? And you have to be careful because we need to reformat this file. So you can uh, organize this file using oh, Excel is the easiest way, okay? Probably not the most efficient one is you are doing many airfoils, so you want to parameterize stuff, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so see that I copy and paste everything here, okay? So separating columns and everything. But Eggfoil, how it reads the format is this in the following way. You start in the leading edge, in the trailing edge, sorry. Trailing edge, go over the upper surface, reach the leading edge, and then start to go you now to sweep the bottom surface until reaching again the leading edge, okay? Then you need to close back the leading edge, okay? So you start here in, let's say one zero, boom, 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 and end again in one zero. So this point is repeated twice. So this is the format that you use. Okay, so see that it's very different to what you have in this in, in, in the one that I copy. Okay, it might happen that sometimes you got it right, sometimes you don't get it right. Okay, but you have to be careful that you need to use this format. So see that we need to format this in the right way. So for instance, here in blue, blue is correspond to these co coordinates. This is the upper surface, and orange correspond to this one is the bottom surface. So or orange is okay. It's starting here going here, ending here. So see that one zero, one zero, it ends and zero, zero. But the problem is here that we need to invert this order. So you can do that in Excel. Okay. It's relatively easy. So I will do that in a new shit here. Okay. So I go here, I copy my coordinates. Okay. And then you need to order. So in Excel, you have a nice command that you can order order that. So you go here, let me see, because, okay, sort this one. So I want to go from largest to smallest and see that now you reorder that. And let me copy the other here. Okay. This is the bottom part. Remember that the only coordinate that can be repeated is the leading edge. So see that he, this one that you have it repeated, erase it, and that's all. Now you have it in the right format, and just to be sure, we can do the plot. So I would do the plot, boom, 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 this one. No, it's not that one. Uh, here, and, okay, let me use this one, and... So it's values. So I will go do first upper side. See here that you have it right. And then we can add the bottom side. Okay. 
So the bottom side, now that's this one. So it can be upper bo uh, top bottom side, intrados, ex extrados, or pressure suction side. So doesn't matter the name that you give it. Uh, you know what you know what you are talking about. Uh, so okay, I, I made a mistake uh, somewhere. Zero one. Uh, okay, it's making it continuous. Why? So okay, probably shows the data. Ah, okay, uh, remove. Okay, uh, okay, I put it in the same. Uh, okay, uh, let me plot everything. So in any case, this is just to plot, but we, we know that we have the data in the right format. Okay. So you have it there, okay? So this is okay. So now we need to save this in a ASCII file, in a text file, you, you cannot use Excel Word. For that, this is very important. Do not use Notepad or Wordpad, those utilities that comes with Windows, because those will save in, in binary format that is not compatible with Excel. So with, with Excel, I recommend you to use a, a decent text editor like Sublime Text, this is the one I use, or Notepad++, plus plus. these are free, okay? I, I use this one, very powerful. Okay, so here you save that and then you can save in a, in a pure clean, pure clean uh, ASCII file. Okay, so you have it here, I will put it also in the link in the video description. So we, can, we need to save it, okay, in that format. So I open this and then just copy And paste it here and that's all you have to find but there is another thing that you have to be aware so see here that the separation between this number by the way also you can save the file you now in excel in text okay it's up to you i'm just show, showing you this way uh that see that you have a tab between in the coordinates and Eggfold doesn't like tabs, so you need to eliminate those tabs. They have to be a single space. So, for instance, here in Sublime Text, to erase the tabs, you can go like this. I will copy that tab, and here you have uh, Find, Replace. See that? Find this tab, replace that with a single space. Replace all, and see that now it's a single space. You have to be very careful with that. Okay? And then this is your file, it's okay. You save it, I will give it a name, I will save it in the test. This this stuff. Okay, with that, that. Then you can give it also a name. This is not compulsory, this is optional, but let's give it, okay. And that's all. You have your air file. And here you have it. So I will put it, remember, you need to have all these files in the directory from where you are launching uh, Eggfold. So I will put it here, or you can put it here in my Airfoil. So let me put it in my Airfoil, okay, where you have some examples, okay? So my Airfoil, I put it there. So now to load that, you go load, and it will ask you the file name. The file name you need to give the relative path. So you're working here, your relative path will be my airfall, then the name of the file. So you need to go like this, underscore, because I call it like that. Don't put spaces, please, please, please. A lot of people like to do that. Don't do that. My airfalls, and then the name, die11.dat. Okay. And low file opener, non-existent. Okay, so it's telling me that the file doesn't exist. Uh, probably didn't copy there. I copied the, okay, I don't recall. Okay, I didn't move it there. Uh, die, okay, the file is there. Lot my airfoils die 11 dot that. And that's it. So see that it's telling you 
See that it have a name, the one I gave in the first line, and see that it's reading 81 coordinate and it's computing you know, the sickness camber and it's giving you, you know, minimum and maximum you know, the core. So you have it there and it's creating 81 panels. So 80, 81 is a little bit low, so remember that you have the option PPAR that here you can change the paneling. But see that you have the airfoil here. So let me go here and change the paneling and add and 160 panels and see that now this is what we have okay and this is how you read an airfoil okay so this end here the trick here remember that you need to have the file in the right format okay so now that we have the airfoil the new airfoil we do uh, we can do you no know, the same stuff that we did previously a new airfoil okay so i will enter in upper I will run at the same Reynolds number as preview that was 5 million. So let me, already I have it 5 million. So I haven't closed uh, Eggfold, so I will have all the polars. So see, Pilis have two polars. I will run with this airfoil. We're going to have a new polar. Okay, so I enter polar accumulation mode. Okay, see that it's creating a new polar, polar tree. I don't want to save those files. And now we're ready to go. So very important, in it, because if you launch right, uh, launch right ahead, it will use the solution for another airfoil, so it will have problem conversion. So in it, I go alpha zero, and here it is. We have this solution, okay, very different from what we have seen in the other airfoil, but you see different airfoils have different missions, different, uh, they have been designed with different requirements, okay? So this particular, Airfoil will have a very specific requirement. And at this point, just go ahead and run uh, the polar accumulation mode uh, with from minus five to 25, whatever. So I will do it. So see that I like to proceed in this. So I have in this way, alpha zero. I go now alpha minus two and get a solution. And I, I like to, to proceed in this way because usually the negative angles are difficult. So I like to do it manually and then I go and then I do it automatically for the positive value that usually are easier to converge. So I go minus six, minus four, minus six, and see P list, see that I have my polars, and usually minus six is okay. And now let's say, let, let's go back to alpha zero. Okay, it will be repeated. Okay, and now from this one, I will do the automatic sequence. So, a sequence. And I will go from zero to 25 steps of one. And see that it's running. See that we have it here and it stop here. See that it's having problems. Okay, so this is a particular airfall and it's giving problems. So this case, okay, let's say alpha three. Okay, we need to do it manually. So it's giving problems, six, eight. So sometimes this, this might happen. It happens when you have airfalls that are not non-conventional airfalls that this one. So see that now it's going fine. So see that you go PDs and you have everything there, okay. Twenty-six. I stop here. So see that I did it manually, but remember you can use the the, the sequence. Sometimes the sequence in some particular airfoils may have problems. That in this case it gave problems. So we did it manually. There is no problem. Okay, same result. So I can do P sort to change the order there. So I want to do the sorting in three PDs and see that I sorted. See that I have repeated one. You can go P ren in three and zero. P this. And see that we constructed our polar, always in polar accumulation mode. Okay, so we did manually the negative values, then from zero we started. Okay, and we tried to do a sequence, automatic sequence, but it gave problems, then we did it manually. Okay, perfectly valid. There is no problem. Uh, okay, didn't remove, it's repeated that one. Let me see why it didn't remove. Three enter alpha of points. 
Okay, now it removed. And at this point, we have a, a circle. So this is P soon, P summary. We have three polars. Okay, so we can go and we can compare plot the polar. So I will go P plot, okay. And there you go. So we have the first one. Now we run 1 million, but it was just negative. Then we have NACA 2412, okay, the whole polar, 5 million, and the die. Okay, so we compare everything here and you have the plops. See that the die, you see that produce more leaf, okay, for a given angle of attack, produce more leaf than the than the NACA 2412, up to a point here that it reached the maximum value. But it has nice properties, a high leaf airfoil, this die. And actually it's used also in wind turbines, okay? So you have very specific properties. Look at the moment coefficient also. So you see here is a little bit positive, okay? So we can go PLEs and see. No, it's very high actually at the moment, this one. So yeah, at the scales, so you said it's difficult. It's difficult now to read these scales where you have a moment. Okay, here you have the moment, yeah. So I see that. The negative value is actually very, very high. So now that you have here, so let me switch off polar accumulation mode. Okay, and we can write this, this solution. So let's say that I want to write this, I go PWRT, and it will uh, tell me which polar do you want to write. Okay, so say, let's say that I want to write two. It will ask me, okay, what is the name of the file? So I would call it polar one. The same, I want to say polar three and polar two. Okay, so as you go here, see that you have here polar one and polar two. Okay, so now you can do the plotting using Excel. Okay, I, I, I close it, have it open, but you can plot it there. Or you can do use Python, so later in some other videos I will show you now this is good. I really like this one because see that here, I concentrated everything in one single plot. Okay, it's reading the, the data coming from Eggfold as it is coming. It's reading this data. So you don't, just, you don't need to do anything, just use Python and do the plotting and analyze your results. So, this is all for this video, okay? So in the next video, we're going to cover some how to save also CP, okay? So it will be it will be faster than this one and some other auctions that we have, okay? But the important thing is that we cover how to create the Air Force, the Air Force using all the, the internal utility that comes with uh, Eggfield, but also reading external files. And we also cover it how to create the polars, okay? and how to create it automatically, but also how to create it manually. Also very important, be careful that with the initialization, okay? So you saw that in action that when you have very dissimilar airfoils or you are starting from very different angles of, of attack, you are going to have problem conversion. So be careful of that. And always pay attention at here, the, your command line interface, okay? The, it's telling you where you are, okay? Sometimes people try to do something, it's not working. It's not working because you are not in the right no menu okay so be careful about that so with that being said uh thank you very much and see you in the next videos bye